today's video, I'm going to be working on a mount for this round headlight that I put on my Honda CB500F in the 2018. They have a very uh, aggressive, some people call it the transformer headlight, and I have to agree. Uh, love the bike, don't love the headlight. So I lost a bunch of footage from this episode, and I also didn't end up doing what I wanted to. Uh, my plan was to make a custom bracket that would mount this um, using uh, without clamping onto the forks. And uh, as you can see, I haven't gone that way. Uh, this is more of a video of me learning, trying new stuff with the welder. Uh, ultimately, the path I was going down, when I got closer to completion, I saw that I wasn't going to like the look of it. Uh, it was really time consuming and, and it wasn't going the way I wanted it to. And so what I ended up doing was uh, changing that out. So if that's, uh, <laughs> I don't know how interesting that is, but I, I want to do a whole sort of series of the changes that I'm doing for this bike. It'd be a little bit weird to leave uh, this part of it out. Uh, so I'll show you the footage that I do have left that I didn't accidentally delete. Uh, and then in the next video, we'll get into how I wired this thing up uh, and go from there. So I've just completely removed uh, the, the headlight here. I figured out how to do that. And I'm just gonna copy over a couple pieces from it. I wanna get this part here the same. That'll just help me uh, with lining everything up. And uh, this is what it looks like completely without the headlight here. Um, sort of gives you an I idea of uh, what's gonna work here. I've got these two bars in place, just fiddling around with those. That bit there goes underneath here and it just provides like a, a flat bit here and even uh, surface to push down on the, on these grommets. So I've just traced this onto the sheet metal and what I've done is I've traced it one way, flipped it over and used the same uh, side just so that it would uh, be as even as possible. Well that wasn't very fun using the jigsaw but uh, I did get a piece. It's a bit warped now unfortunately and uh, it's not perfect so I'm gonna need to clean it up with the grinder. These two welded to this piece is very ugly uh, but it does in fact uh, work. It's not perfect, but uh, it's gonna work for what I need. I ended up welding it not on the bike just because it was gonna make a mess and start ruining some of the paint on the bike and that kind of stuff. Um, I'm just not good enough to do that. I can see here that I've actually messed up and I might need to break one of these welds and redo it, but uh, we'll see if I can get away with it. So I've just been using a file to uh, clean up these welds. And what I'm realizing what I should have done, because this is gonna be visible, I really should have welded on the underside and then just ground it up. Um, I wanted this to be flat because it goes down against the washers, but the washers are made of rubber. Um, so yeah, I really could, or spacers or whatever they are, really should have done this on the bottom and it would have looked a lot better. Um, I'm never gonna get this looking good. So I've just cut these down with a grinder with this on an angle. Uh, so then I can put a little tab going right across, drill a hole through it, and then that's all I need to keep this in place. I did get a tack on there first try. Uh, again, I'm doing it on the underside now because this side will be visible even when you're riding the bike. So I'm gonna give this a test on the bike. Okay, so here we go. That tab is now facing over where this hole is. Uh, and if we line it up, yeah. So we would drill a hole right where we need to. Then I can clean up the edge of this tab here. And then it will basically, yeah, press this whole thing into place. I think that's in the right spot. Well, uh, bad news, <laughs> all of my tack welds, except for one broke. Uh, that was the one that I reinforced. That totally makes sense. That was just from trying to drill holes through these. So uh, yeah, that's very frustrating. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remake these pieces so that they're centered. This time I've tried something completely different. I've basically drilled two holes that are the same uh, size. It doesn't really matter that one's the same size, but basically they're the right size for that bolt. And then what I'm going to try and do is, this is the top, I'm going to try and weld this uh, from the top as a tack. Um, I have no idea whether this is going to work. I think it's going to look absolutely horrendous, but I should just be able to uh, sand it completely flat, the weld on top, and then I can also uh, support it from underneath. And that will help me get the angles just right. 
yeah, that appears to have worked out just fine. Okay, so I did manage to get this one in. It was crooked, so I had to hit it with a hammer. It's welded on the top and bottom. I'm gonna do that on the same for that one there. It goes down here. This weld is horrendous, don't look at it. Uh, but it's working, it took me all day just to get this far, it's ridiculous. Okay, so I spent all day making this. It's in, I've cleaned up uh, a lot of the welds. You can see that there's still some spots here that didn't get filled in, that's okay. Uh, and then it comes down here. I've also removed the bracket that holds this brake line in place. Uh, I burnt my thumb, that's fun. I've got a, a square imprint of a piece of metal there that I was just grinding on and then I picked it up and I didn't pick it up with my gloves on. And, now I, I can see where that is, that piece of metal in my thumb <laughs> for a couple days probably. That's fun. Uh, but yeah, I will pick this up tomorrow with actually uh, creating something to mount with the headlight. That doesn't be cool, the actual brackets come out and attach to the headlight. Okay, so I've just taped the bucket in place here. Uh, it's not quite the way that it, it, I want it to look. It, it should be uh, more a little bit out like this. But I'm just putting it here so I can get a sense of uh, what I need to do feeling kind of defeated with the, the way I'm approaching this and I think I'm going to end up with a worse product than what I actually want. Uh, I basically meth messed up the headlight bucket. Um, I was uh, putting in a, a nut in there. Blew through the edge there. Uh, got another one of the nuts sort of uh, welded to itself. Uh, stuff like that. And I just sort of realized, you know, even if I get this one on, it's going to look like the hack job that it is. So after that fiasco, I went out and I bought a new uh, headlight bucket. Uh, this one here, uh, you can see it, it's a very common piece on Amazon, eBay, that sort of thing. And I've just put it on with those original mounts that I had. And with this headlight, it actually fits. Um, so I could do the fork mounting with this. Um, and I may just do that. Uh, I'm looking at the piece that I made, and I need to come out quite a bit from it. Um, an inch, at least, on each side to come out to match here. Um, and so I may just do the fork mounts um, for it. Okay, so I've got it on with the fork mounts. I've got the uh, new indicators on. I originally had planned to have a totally different style, but then I realized uh, it's still, no matter what I do, this is gonna be a modern bike. So I need to make it look retro modern, kind of, I guess. Give it some of the retro features like the round headlight, uh, but you know, keep it looking new. Okay, so here we, you can see we've got these fork mounts going here. Uh, with the, with these, the there's a hole in these mounts here that goes for the indicators here. They're just a very standard uh, size right now. They're not obviously hooked up to anything. Nothing's hooked up. It, it needs to be completely rewired to get this headlight to work. But uh, yeah, here's where that bar is that I made. And I'm almost thinking uh, that I'm done with the bar, that it was a, a neat experiment but that it, it, it won't actually work. So I've done some fiddling and moving this down to the bottom of the triple really helps. Uh, it would be great if, if this one wasn't sticking out in the middle, but I think it's all right. Uh, one thing I have noticed is that. Um, I knew that was gonna be a problem. Uh, these have to come off in order for this to work. Um, which was always the plan. I think these are ugly. Um, I don't really like points on motorcycles. This is very pointy. Uh, coming around here though, it's it's not the prettiest looking thing without it. So I will definitely need to create some sort of a, a, a small cover to go over uh, what's missing uh, there, that's for sure. But uh, I think this is, this is worth it. I think this was a great learning opportunity. It's just not needed. And sometimes you put a lot of work into going one method and then you just realize that it was a bad idea or it's not gonna work out or that's okay. So here's all the ugliness that gets exposed over here. I think uh, that could be painted, uh, get rid of this stupid danger cap and 
thicker and, and paint that, that's fine. And then just need to create something that would come here and sort of close that off. I think uh, something could be done with fiberglass for that, for sure. You know, um, then when we do this, uh, the headlight, uh, the, not the headlight, the turn signal isn't uh, being bashed into anything. It is one of these ones that's on a little bit of rubber, so it has some flex to it, but uh, still. <laughs> The original idea I had for mounting was something along this line. And the more I'm looking at it, <laughs> kind of the less I like it, the more I realize that this is actually in a bad position, that, you know, there's just a lot of things wrong with this way of doing it. Uh, so this idea is officially dead. I'm, I'm taking it off the board. Okay, so and with that, I'll leave you guys for today. This is kind of a neat part. Uh, I'm actually really happy with this, it's just that it's not going to work with this headlight bucket, uh, or really the, the concept that I was going for. Um, it would be cool to revisit this sort of idea later. Uh, I still think there's a, a neat way of doing it, but uh, going this way is going to be the simpler option. So I'll see you the next time where I wire this headlight up.